Governor's new regional stay-at-home order is a big change in the way that we measure the coronavirus. Instead of looking at each county and its case rate, we're now grouped into regions with ICU capacity as the main number to keep an eye on. ABC 10 News reporter spoke with a hospital leader to find out their thoughts on being at the center of this new order and what that ICU number really means. The governor says if any region has less than 15 percent of its ICU beds available, the stay at home order goes into effect. So hospitals, which are already ground zero in the fight against this pandemic, are now under an even larger microscope. To be really blunt about it, people can die if we don't have the right uh, equipment, uh, beds, and trained personnel to be able to take care of them when they have their emergency. CEO Chris Van Gorder says hospitals are already feeling the pressure of the pandemic, and the ICU metric is as good as any number to use for deciding when to impose more restrictions. According to the state's official website, the Southern California region, which includes these 11 counties, is at 20.6 percent. Van Gorder says grouping all of them together makes sense because hospitals will help each other with patients if some areas get overwhelmed. But even with help, that 15 percent can fill quickly. We are seeing a lot of patients coming in right now, you know, getting tested, having problems with their breathing, having all sorts of other emergencies. They're not just COVID patients. And so we are pretty heavily impacted right now. And so 15 percent sounds like a, it could be a reasonably good number. We could fill that overnight. Uh, if we had a search. Meanwhile, Sharp Healthcare told us their ICU is 88% full, saying in a statement, we want people to stay healthy and out of the hospital for COVID-19 by following safe practices so that ICU beds are available for patients who've been in serious accidents, cannot breathe on their own, or had invasive surgeries. We've also learned Friday that the state is extending its emergency loan program for small health care facilities, offering up to $250,000 interest free to address the pandemic. The state says there's still four and a half million dollars available. Jared Aarons, ABC 10 News. And hospital officials tell us that staffing is another factor. Even if they have beds available, it won't matter if there aren't enough doctors and nurses to care for the ICU patients. And that could be the case if more of their employees get sick.